Hey everyone, Shinigami here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Misk Prospector in Star Citizen. Currently the only mining ship in the game, the Prospector is available for $155 USD in the Pledge Store right now. And I need to point out that you do not have to purchase anything more than a base starter package with either the Aurora MR or Mustang Alpha for $45. Any other ships can be earned in-game with credits, and anything you pledge above that for other ships helps fund development of the game. So quick disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the pledge store's description of the Prospector. For years, the Prospector has been the universe's preferred mining vessel for solo operators, featuring MISC's sleek design sensibility and a bevy of upgraded high-tech mining tools. The 2947 Prospector perfectly balances form and functionality. The Prospector can store 128 SCU of mined resources in its dedicated mining cargo pods. These cannot be used for regular cargo, so the cargo capacity value is listed as 0 SCU. However, currently in the Alpha, it only holds 32 SCUs of mined cargo. Because the idea of the expandable cargo pods, the mining pods, will eject from your ship and you can fill up more but currently that functionality is not in game, so you can only hold 32, which is the four cargo pods that are currently attached to your ship. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the inside, starting with the cockpit. So we are here in the Prospector cockpit, and I gotta say, man, this, this is the, in my personal humble opinion, the best cockpit in the game right here. So much view so much unobstructed view here it is fantastic so first off the prospector has the standard flight mode the scanning mode which you can ping for resources which as you can see something just pinged right over there 2597 meters away and last but not least we can switch to a mining mode where you have access to the mining laser you can aim all over the place here and and raise the the power level for and all that good stuff look at that friggin mining laser look how much damage that thing's gonna do you can also right click to enter an extraction mode which the main laser on the front will change and do this cool little animation so once you have mined a resource you can extract it using this mode i'm not really going to go into details on that at the moment all right so let's go ahead and Switch back to the normal view and take a quick look up here. We have six MFDs along the top for various things, information about the prospector. All nice and in view real quick for when you need them. You're not gonna be doing a lot of dogfighting, hopefully in the prospector. Hopefully you won't need to, but you can monitor your energy output and everything right up here. There are also the controls to turn the engines on and off, the main power on and off and opening your exterior press to lock press to unlock all that good stuff so let's go ahead and get out of the pilot seat look around the cockpit real quick before moving on to the living quarters and the cockpit as you can see everything is nice and open in here this thing oh man i just i really i love the view from the prospector i love the visibility out of this ship there's also a small window up here, but as you could see earlier, the MFDs and screens and controls kind of block this view. So you, do, you can't really see out of there very easily while piloting the ship. Let's go ahead and step back into the back section here. First off, here on the left, we have a bathroom with a sink, toilet, and shower. This will help you stay fresh on your long journeys into space, on your long mining excursions. We've got water and all that good stuff, towels, Possibly a little food. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. Power, VNT, water processor. I don't know what all that is, but maybe some sort of food processor or something or other. There's cups there on the side. There's a bed right here so you can sleep. The Prospector is large enough and has enough capacity inside that you can actually stay in it on long trips without needing to return back to stations or anything in theory and lore wise. There are also access to a lot of the components of the ship, like the shield generator, the computer, uh, the laser cooling drive, the cooler, gravity generator, jump drive, radar, life support. Let's see, is there anything up above? It doesn't look like it. Um, 
let's see, I think this is a storage, yeah, storage right there. And that is all here on the inside. Nice little, nice little section here for your living quarters. It's not very large, but honestly, I don't think it really needs to be. Let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the ship. This is the only entrance and exit point for the prospector. This cool little ladder. Let's go ahead and step out here real quick. All right, we have two of these little laser cannons on both sides for, or, well, one on each side, sorry, two total. And these are mainly just for kind of emergency defense. They don't really do a lot of damage or anything, but they're there in case you need them. And then obviously the large main mining laser right here, landing gear down there. And then these are the expandable mining cargo pods. As you can see, they're made of some sort of flexible material. Don't know exactly what they are. There's also one panel here in the back that currently has no functionality, but my understanding is that we will have a sorting system in place so that you can actually get rid of some of the inert rock that you mine up on, not necessarily on purpose, but just as the mining process works currently, you will mine up a percentage of ores, rare ores that you want, but you'll also get a large percentage of inert rock that sells for next to nothing. So, all right, this is all I got for this. I uh, tried to take some advice from the Star Citizen subreddit. They had lots of helpful tips for me to help improve my ship tour videos. So. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully I've done a little bit better on this video than in the past. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And also please leave a comment about something you liked in the video or something I can do better for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that is all for now. Shinigami out.